You're back here again with RideBits.com and today I'm going to show you how to set up zone to zone rates. From your dashboard go ahead and click on the rate setup button. Once you are there go down to zone to zone based rates and click on set up zone to zone based rates. As you can see I already have three airport zones set up. Kennedy Airport, LaGuardia Airport, and Newark Airport. Let's go ahead and set up a new zone. Since my ride bits is set up for New York City, I will create a new zone for the Upper East Side. All I have to do is go to the Enter New Zone field and type in Upper East Side. Then I click the Add Zone button. There you have it. That's all it takes to create a new zone. Now, let's enter some zip codes into my new zone. Looking at my zip code map, I can see 10065, 10021, and 10075 needs to be included. I will go ahead and enter my first zip code, 10065, into the Enter Zip Code field and click the Add to Zip Code to Zone button. There we are. Next, I will do the same for 10021. There it is. Click on the button. Last but not least, let me go ahead and enter 10075 and click on the button. I have now created my new zone, Upper East Side, plus I have added three zip codes to it. If you notice, there is a red button here that would allow me to delete the zone altogether if I had made a mistake. I also have the option to remove or reassign a zone if I wish by clicking on the zip code's corresponding buttons. Just to note, if I try to assign the same zip code to another zone, I will get a message stating that it has already been assigned to a different zone. Just to show you, I will put in 07201 and there's my error message. The final step is to create the charges between zones. Do note, your charges will most likely vary from mine. Let's go ahead and let's assign the rates. Currently, I only have the regular rate group set up. I'm going to start by choosing the Upper East Side, and then I will choose to the Kennedy Airport Zone. I will then put in my base flat rates for all the vehicles that I have. Let's go ahead and put in 100 for the sedan. One hundred twenty five for the SUV and one hundred and fifty for the stretch limo. Since I want the rates to be the same between the two zones if reversed, I will put a check in the set rates on reverse routes box. Then it's just a matter of clicking on the save rates button. Now all you have to do is go through and set the rates between the different zones and you're done. If you have any further questions, please feel free to contact us at support at ridebits.com.